do a bit of a muddle. Let's see who we've got here first. And just start with the gentleman on my left, Adam Alexander. Shall we find out what your class has been saying about you, Adam? Are you ready to listen, everybody? And the person who's speaking would love it if you could. Well, we absolutely love having Adam in the office class. He's got such a lovely sense of humour and he keeps us smiling all day. So these are a few things that the Otters children said about Adam. Adam is, a, is very fast at running. Adam is a brilliant drawer. Adam is really confident and I enjoy going to Beavers with him. Adam tries his very best when doing math. Adam is very considerate and shares his toys. Adam is a really good friend. And Adam is cool. So well done, Adam, because I know all the children in the Otters class love having you. That's fantastic. Big well done. Thank you, Mrs. Well, as you've got another one of your certificates as well, haven't you, from your family at home. I can see your family at the back and feel very, very proud of you. Shall we find out what they say? So the people at home say, Adam makes us so proud by trying his very best with his diving and water skiing. He never gives up, which is fantastic. But that's a, we've got a special word for that at school, haven't we? It's, it's about being resilient. resilient. Yeah, Adam's very resilient. Always willing to try new activities. Adam's recently joined Beavers, which someone mentioned in his class. Um, he's already received a swimming badge and is working towards his next badge. Adam never fails to make his family laugh, especially his grandma and granddad. You make them giggle. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you make me giggle as well, Adam. I always like seeing your face at school. You've always got something to tell me, haven't you? Adam decided on um, on Wednesday when we had a very special day because we had some children in from other schools, didn't we? And I wonder. Um, are Darcy and Zoe. Darcy and Zoe were here to represent us from our school. We were talking about what makes a school a good place to learn. But what did you tell me, Adam? What did you think school should be? He popped in so otters, didn't he? And he said, if I could change school, I would turn it into a big...